one of the big artists I've produced is Yu Roy. I did two albums with him called Serious Matter, Serious Meta. And um, now, that was late 90s. Before I met Sly and Robbie, I did uh, Serious Matter. Um, and uh, uh, it really put him back on the map in France. Yeah, and we went on national television. We, uh, and it's my best-selling album so far. Serious matter. Right. Yeah, that was the other question. Um, your your most successful release. Serious matter has been very successful. Um, I. It's not the most lucrative, but it's okay. Uh, back then, I still didn't know much about the business, um, but you know, I, I, I did well with it. Um, we and what we did was um, tour him uh, with a, a, a band of Jamaican musicians, um, and not some pickup band from London that didn't rehearse. I mean, we really put energy and. To, to, to make him sound like we thought he should, you know, and uh, and Serious Matter um, also was, we, we tried to innovate, because when, when it came out, it it was uh, when uh, Puff Daddy and, 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 and what's his name, um, Dr. Dre were putting albums where, for example, Snoop album had 20 guests on it on the mm. 20 songs and it had never been done on reggae and um, serious matter we wanted it to sound like a reggae version of dr dre that was the ambition <laughs> <laughs> I, well back then you know i mean dr dre sounded pretty wicked you know and uh, and we thought what the the dre sound <coughs> is heavy the bass is wicked, the drum is, is, is loud, but doesn't overpower the, the, the vocals. And Uroy has strong, a strong voice. So we wanted to do something, you know, not sounding like a virgin frontline version, uh, 1999 uh, interpretation of virgin frontline, but something that was 1999 sounds. You know, and uh, so um, we selected some songs that Flabba Holt from the Roots Red X had produced over the years with Dennis Brown, Horace Andy, Israel Vibration, and so forth. And we thought, okay, let's let's review the rhythms to make them a little bit less. Uh, cheap dancehall and make it lush dancehall you know mm -hmm. really the template was Dre and 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 Puff you know because Puff used samples of Sheik or whoever and added this oomph to the sound and the compression and and really made it a, a deluxe experience Right. Orally, you know. Um, whereas the Steely and Cleavy sound, I thought, was very bare bone. And, and I don't want to make commercial music just for the, the sake of it. But I, I want something to, to sound sweet to the ear, you know, and, uh, and be a little friendly to, to, the, to the ear. So we, we, we took the rhythms and had overdubs done by Jamaican musicians to to give it uh, at the same time the oomph of dancehall and the niceness of analog drums or analog guitars and so forth and um, so we came and then I brought uh, Bravo the engineer to mix in Paris okay at a studio that I, I enjoyed because I thought the vibe was right, you know, and so we were able to to spend time on the mixes, you know, 
and and really make it fit what I wanted to hear and not just okay here are the mixes take this you know from Jamaica and with no direction and no, it really was produced you know yeah and 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 it sold well and um, and there are some songs that I produced and back then th there was no digital mixing board or pro tools or anything and we did everything on a analog mixing board with tapes and I learned to mix thanks to Bravo I, I, I can't use Pro Tools and so forth, but uh, if you put me in, in, in with uh, a tape and the, an old mixing board, I can do something, you know. I'm not an engineer, but I, I can be there and add value to the, to, to the process. Yeah. And that's thanks to uh, Bravo, my, my brother from another mother um, in Jamaica. So yeah, Uroy. Euroy came out uh, in 1999, and we did a second one after that. Um, and that's this one is good too, but it's more traditional reggae sounds, you know. Um, and and the and the reason why we did that um, is that one journalist in France, influential, she wrote a full page in a, a, a daily newspaper um, one of the leading newspapers in france so we had some great promo but she wrote some she assassinated the the production uh, sound and so forth and i felt oh shit, she doesn't like it i'm gonna do a roots reggae album for the follow-up album and that, that that that's me being too young and lacking self-confidence when I should have done another Snoop Dogg uh, type of album, you know. But th this one is pretty cool. I mean, the rhythms are nice, but uh, this one is fire. And uh, when when we put him on the road, we had um, Derek Stewart on drums, um, who's a great drummer. We had Johnny Moore, the trumpet player the, from the Scatellites, with Kelvin Cameron on trombone. So we had a, a, a three horn section, some, you know, some a lush sound, you know, and um, and it was well rehearsed and 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 well put together. And and the tour sold out everywhere we went. And because Bravo was the engineer and he had done the, al the album, he had this sound that was loud, not obnoxious, but present you know boom a boom sound yeah and i remember we uh we played after um de la soul you know the rap group and right we buried them <laughs> and de la, soul, de la soul had excellent sound you know and, and and they were playing from tapes but we we killed them <laughs> and and that that goes to to show that reggae if done properly can rival any other genre, even hip hop, and hip hop on stage is very powerful, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but the drum and bass of reggae, um, the attitude is 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 really um, it's as good as you know. And and sometimes I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry that um, top dancehall acts come with. Uh, makeup bands instead of having a long rehearsal, uh, a fat sound designed for themselves, you know, and 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 do you know Bob Marley when 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 he was on stage, he had Errol Brown mixing, you know, and Errol Brown was the top Jamaican engineer at the time. Yeah, you know, and and they had and they would rehearse for hours on end, for days on end, and. Uh, when they weren't touring, they were rehearsing or recording. Mm -hmm. That's what's missing in, in you know, the, the, the dancehall acts of today. They don't rehearse. They, they just give the tape to uh, yeah. uh, the cassette or the, the CD to the, to the band two days before they arrive in London or in Paris. And the quality is, is, is deficient.